Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at 13 tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy A13. So we're going to be going through um, some really cool features, even some hidden features on this device. But make sure you guys stay to the end of the video because we're going to be doing some tips and tricks on this device. If you do have the Samsung Galaxy A13, I think this is going to help you a lot. Make sense? So make sure you stay locked in with me to the end of the video but let's just jump into the first tip and trick but if you're already a part of the crew i truly appreciate you for coming through but if you're brand new to the channel salute all right so let's just jump into the first tip for the samsung galaxy a13 okay and this is going to be really cool in case you want to do speed dialing for your a13 make sense so we're going to jump into the first tip and basically what you want to do is designate a speed dial for your samsung galaxy a13 so you could do this with pretty much any contact okay so all right first thing you want to do is long hold one of any one of the nine options here you have nine numbers here to choose from make sense so basically let's just choose number seven you long hold that button and it's going to say assign um, a contact for speed dial so you click assign makes sense right so then you could just choose from any number here on the list and you could actually designate a speed dial for that specific person so let's say I wanted to just let me just choose anything right now okay I'm gonna choose uh, let me see um, let me see so let's just say I, I click this guy right here boom so now whenever I click this number, number nine, it's gonna say you can assign that number. So you could hit long hold, hit assign for this one. You could do it with any of the things, but if let's say I just hit the number seven, okay? And I long hold it now. It's actually gonna dial that person's number. So I'm gonna hang up right now, but that's the first tip for um, speed dialing. You could do that with nine different contacts in your smartphone. So just long hold the number, assign the contact, to that specific number and then you'll be able to call that person really quick make sense so let's just jump into the second feature because i think this is definitely pretty cool because let's just say um you want to listen to your voicemail you have this visual voicemail uh, app right here so you could click that and it's pretty straightforward because once you click that you're going to be able to you know archive voicemails listen to voicemails on your phone right here you can filter through you could edit everything that, of that nature so whenever you get a voicemail you're going to be able to listen to the message from the person right here and you could go ahead and delete it you could share it and you could even send a message back from the voicemail screen so that's going to be a pretty cool feature for the samsung galaxy 813 as well so the third one that i want to talk about is how to create a gif and this is going to be in the calendar i mean not the calendar the camera um option right here makes sense so basically just open up the camera by clicking that icon okay all right so once we get to this icon right here you're going to click this option right here which is the photo let's say you're just taking a picture of something but you, instead of just tapping it you're going to long hold it for like three seconds or as long as you want the gif to go so basically you would just hit that button and keep holding it right so you can see that there's the timer at the top one two three four so now when I let it go and I go into my gallery, right, it's going to show me a video. It's going to be like a short video up like a GIF. So you could hit the play button, right? And it's going to actually record like a short GIF of whatever you were taking a picture of, a photo of, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to have like a small video that you can actually share out just like a, a GIF or a GIF, depending on how you pronounce that, right? So I think that's a definitely a really cool feature. Okay, so you follow me? So next feature we're going to jump into is how to add uh, always on display to your Samsung Galaxy A13. Now this feature doesn't come on the device itself okay so let me just show you how to prepare yourself to get the always on display first you want to go into the play store you follow and then what you want to do is just type right here always on display right here at the top okay you with me so far so right here you want to click always on screen right here it's going to be the app we're going to be using is called always on screen you you get me so just type right here hit that button right there and you're going to install this app because it's going to be pretty cool right so let me show you how it works okay so once it's done you just hit open all right so 
it's actually opening up on the Samsung Galaxy here A13, okay? So this is what you need to do. You need to allow it to give you all the permissions. It's gonna have, it's gonna be a ton of permissions on here. So first thing you wanna do is click always on display, right? And then it's gonna allow you to draw over apps and you're gonna have to allow that, right? So you just find it right here, click that one again, go back one more time, click this one again, okay? You follow me? That makes sense and then you click allow right so after you hit allow right you're gonna hit always on display for notification notification access you get me so then right here you go back one more time all right and you're gonna click this one more time and you're gonna allow it to do the read phone that state okay so just allow that allow the next one for read calendar right and then you're gonna allow this one again okay and then you're just gonna click okay 15 seconds for the screen timeout all done and you can see right here it's gonna say continue you dig so right here this is the actual um always on screen there's gonna be an ad that pops up because this isn't like they it's a free app but they do get paid when they when you put ads on here right so basically you can customize now you can customize the clocks so you can add your own clock on your smartphone you dig but just keep in mind that this they're gonna give you pro ones and they're gonna give you free ones and you can change the colors i'm gonna hit apply for that type of but if you wanted to get the other one, you would have to subscribe, you dig? So let me just go back and you can see we can change the widgets, we could change alarms, we could get music control, weather, and things of that sort. So basically how it works, right, is that when you double press and lock your screen, right, just double press, and then you could do a quick double press right here, you dig? Now this is the always on display right here. You can see right here, you're gonna see your notifications double tap one more time and you get to your main screen and you can see your notifications here and that's when you can interact by swiping down you dig so i think that's definitely a cool feature on the samsung galaxy a30 or a13 because whenever the screen is locked you can see the always on display is always going to be on um, which i think is a really cool feature you know so i definitely think that's cool it's right here it's going to show up whenever the screen is locked it's going to let you see your notifications when the screen is locked so definitely think that's a really cool feature you dig so let's just jump into the next feature right so the next feature right is going to be um when we go into the settings option okay so if you want to enter the phone from the always on you have to double click and now you can get out of it right so just go into settings one more time all right and then you're going to go into the one that says safety and emergency okay so just look for safety and emergency and after you look for safety and emergency you want to click silence while driving right because a lot of people have their phones and they're using it while they're driving but just click this button because it's going to say that it'll limit interruptions like phone calls text messages your device can automatically turn on do not disturb when driving and it's going to automatically know when it's you when you're driving right so i think that's like a really smart feature on this device right because if you're driving and you're using a smartphone at the same time you want to be limited to what you can do when you're using the device okay so it makes sense so you won't get like notifications and things of that sort because it's going to allow you to um basically focus what you're doing right you follow so does that make sense so far um, if you're still here, I truly appreciate you for staying locked in. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because I have some crazy tips coming up, right? But make sure you say I'm still here so I know you're still rocking with me, okay? And if you're enjoying the content so far, I truly appreciate you for, for kicking it with me up until this point. But let's just jump into the next tip, okay? So the next tip is going to be you can look at widgets on your display, right? So you want to actually turn that on. You see right here it has lock screen and then it has widgets right so this is you want to actually activate all of those the ones that you want to use right here music weather schedules and next alarm and well-being but i don't really use the well-being too much right so basically what you would do is lock the screen right and then if you double press right here you can see you get to your always on display uh double tap it one more time right and then you want to tap the the where, where it shows the clock you want to hit that right so now if you, after you hit that you're going to see the weather the calendars and your um events all, all in one screen right here and even the music that's playing you could play music right here and you can use you could basically use all of that stuff just by hitting the clock and you're going to get to all of those features okay if you want to change some of the features in there you could actually just enter your fingerprint and it's going to show you the options right here that you have you can remove some or you can add some so i think that's something that's pretty cool you follow so so far are you with me all right cool what about now next feature we're going to talk about is how to add some RAM on here, extra RAM, okay? It's right, you're with me so far, so go down until you see the option right here which says battery and device kit, right? After you click that one, right, you wanna click memory, okay? 
and after you click memory you're going to go into this option right here which says check it for memory right but you're going to see right here that you have um a certain amount of mem memory in here ram plus so it's going to give you extra memory right because i added four gigabytes of memory it's going to take it from my internal storage right so you can click this option right here okay and it was at two extra but i actually wanted the four right so i, I put the four and i added an sd card on my phone as well okay so that's pretty cool because it's going to actually make your device able to when you swipe up from the bottom right you're going to notice that a lot of apps stay open now like a ton of apps and it's going to run super smooth because of that extra ram on here it's going to fly through because of that extra ram right so it's going to increase the performance with the extra gigabytes um the extra four gigabytes of ram you get me so I definitely think that's something that's really cool that you should go ahead and get started with, right? So one of the other things that I noticed is this thing called private um, share right here. You just want to click that icon right there, okay? Because this is going to be pretty cool because it's basically going to keep everything that you share on your phone private so it won't go through the messages app or any social media apps. It's basically going to be password protected, but basically you want to click this icon right here and you can share images, videos, audio, and even documents. You get me? So basically you want to click this and let's say I just wanted to show this picture right here hit done then it's going to give me the list of contacts to choose from where i could send it to so i'm basically going to choose a contact right you, you're with me so far so after i choose a contact i'm just going to click this guy hit send and i could either send it through a text message show a qr code or send with an app so there's the three options that you get but it's going to basically be protecting your privacy so like whatever you send won't show up in the most recent app that you were using right so i definitely think that's a cool feature if you're the type of person who likes to share things privately on a regular basis like um, pictures photos music and and more so you get me so that's that's something that's really cool that i think is um a perfect option for somebody who is like kind of private you know what i'm saying so i think that's something that's really cool because you're going to be able to do that you know what i'm saying with this feature so next thing we're going to get jumping right into and i truly appreciate you for staying locked in with me so far you're a real one go to gallery you get me and then what you want to do is just if you want to share something you click right here well it's not going to be sharing but let me just show you i'll, I'll click these two images and to create a collage okay so you basically click create right after you do that and you're going to be able to actually create a gif which is going to create a sequence of, of, of that's going to be moving so if you create have a bunch of pictures and you want to create like a slow gif out of the pictures from the gallery you can do so but the other thing that you could do is create a collage okay so you just click collage and now you can actually create a split like you know what i'm saying like a lot of people like to do this when they're on vacation right you might have a lot a big photo album and you kind of want to put it together with a lot of different images and create collages i think this is something that's really cool because a lot of people do this i like to do this all the time right so i think that's something that's pretty cool then you could save it share it and then send it off to social media after you created the collage right so that's another really cool feature that i do like on the samsung galaxy a13 as well so we're almost done we got two more features then i'm gonna wrap wrap up the video right but the next feature we're going to jump into is how to create a different color on your folders okay so as you can see i have three folders right here inside of my app tray all i did was slide slide up you you that makes sense so far so then you click right here where it says the folder you're inside of the folder you, you know what i mean and then you're going to click this thing right next to the plus sign like, there is something right here where there's a plus sign right here where you can add other apps inside of there automatically from the app list you know what i'm saying but then you can cl also click this button right here which gives you um the option to change the color so it's given me um, recommended colors based on the theme from my wallpaper that i'm using you follow so maybe i want to turn this purple right so now that app color is going to change the purple you know what i'm saying so then you would just do that with on any other folder that you see fit so now i have purple and i have tan then i could change the google one to i don't know any color i want to right here from the list so i could i'm, I'm going to make that yellow right so you, now i have three different color folders i think that's pretty cool that you can customize the color of the photo to make it pop out a little bit more so that you could recognize it a little bit easier you follow me so that's something that's pretty cool okay now the last feature that i'm going to jump into on the samsung galaxy a13 is how to remove the um google feeds you see where i'm swiping right here and i'm not getting anything you follow so this is actually something that speeds up the um phone a lot in my opinion it makes it a lot quicker when you don't have an app tray or even the samsung one right so you want to actually 
like you can see right here if I if I touch on the screen somewhere right here right I can now swipe all the way to the other side right here then I have this turned off you could turn that back on right but you could also turn it to the Samsung free which is going to give you like media content uh, magazines to read um, articles and even some news that you can mess around with right but I just like to turn that off because it speeds up the overall performance of the device as well and you can see uh, everything just seems to be flowing now with this device but hopefully you guys did find these 13 tips and tricks I actually added an extra one for you but it makes sense to make name it 13 because of the 813 right but hopefully you guys did find this video helpful but make sure you subscribe and get notified for more videos if you found this video helpful in any way possible but I'm gonna get right back with you but in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening depending where you are have a great night later crew peace